Hello, Cyberland, Divinium Customs here, and today we are talking about the Crimson Lord Hilt by Denis Lukyanov and the chassis for it by Goth3 Designs. It is a beautiful chassis with a, a brilliant design to it. I love the crystal chambers, the switch setup, the removable battery, and the removable board hatches. These are rhodium plated brass, and they are held on with magnets here. We have some uh, tape diffusion with a little bit of mesh. I'll actually bring that close again so you can see a little bit of mesh in there. And on the board, we have a string of pixels. Now these are wired up with some very fine wires. They're actually about the size of a strand of hair and they pulse up and down in idle. And when you turn it on, it's a battery level indicator. Green is go, red is dead. We have two kill switches here, one for each side. I have been waiting. And of course we have these removable batteries. Now let's show off the crystal chambers. Look at that rhodium. This has Stuck V3 connectors. And actually the chassis and hill were not designed to work with these because the long pins are a little too short. Uh, so what we've had to do is design these uh, adapters to make the pins just a little taller so that they can actually reach the blade uh, through this little ridge here. You see the gap between the two and the, uh, the chassis stop. It's worth mentioning that on this build, we actually have uh, board adapters, which is not necessary for any normal install you'd be doing. However, the client accidentally ordered a CFX chassis, or Shapeways accidentally shipped them a CFX chassis, so we printed an adapter instead of spending another 100 bucks on the full chassis. We have 28 millimeter Smuggler's Outpost dark side bass speakers. Man, is that ever a mouthful. And they have by far the best sound you'll ever hear in a saber. Uh, to install this, we're going to open the bottom and install it with the channel open side towards the uh, the emitter. You gotta line up the channel with the switches here, press it all the way in, and then you can just screw in the palm on the bottom. We have uh, a blade retention screw. If you rotate this and look for the little screw opening, right there, you can uh, unscrew that and tighten the blade. Up here, the blade retention is just kind of these uh, screws pressing gently on the uh, the blade. So I wouldn't recommend dueling with this per se. You could get a longer screw and, and work it that way. I believe they're M2.5 or M3. Top button is activation. Bottom button is auxiliary. The way you get the bottom out is you unscrew the pommel here. And we're actually just going to put this away for a sec. We're actually just going to tap gently and it'll start to come out and then we can slide it out. You want to be careful. You don't want to damage anything, obviously. Uh, when you're done, you can pop the kill switches or you can take out the batteries. In terms of battery orientation, we look closely. The leaf spring is the negative. The pad is the positive. Positive toward the blade on this one. That's all on this hilt. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.